All right, so yesterday what we did is we calculated the average. Can everybody see this, by the way? Okay, good. We calculated the average, the median, and the weighted average, and we, I told you how we did that last time, for each team. Not only did we do it for the team, but we did it for the two different sides of the team, the defense and the offense. How much does the defense allow the other team to score? How much does the offense uh, score? Okay, so we did that. I'm going to show you a trick now, and somebody else was doing kind of a similar trick. But you notice that yesterday I only got to the averages. Now I want to do it for this column and this column. Here's the easy way to do that. If I select all of these down here, now if I drag it to my two other columns, what that does is it basically applies the same formula but takes the next series of data. So it'll take the next column. Then I let go. Done. No clapping, no, uh, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, yes, yes, yeah, try the veal, never the same show, um, tip your waiters, okay, so now we've done this, um, let's look at, so the results, we, we do have some results right now, don't we, right, we have the we know what Detroit, so what it, okay, actually, so here's what I'm going to do. Let's, let's set this up first. I want to make one more column. Okay, remember when I was telling you, did I, did I talk about the wisdom of crowds a little bit? About the bull? Yeah, I did, didn't I? Here's what we're going to do. We're going to do kind of a wisdom of crowds on this data. So why don't we take, let's call this, so put your cursor into H, the header. Let's call it wisdom of crowds. Everybody do that? Um, oh, this is, so what I do is you can click on here, right click. Do you see that format cells? Yeah. Okay, hit that. You'll get to take the second one, which is alignment. Do you see alignment? Mm, yeah. You'll be number and alignment. If you don't see it, show them. So you remember right clicking. You should have it. Uh, so then what you do is you see down here you'll see wrap text. Oh yeah. Shrink to fit, hit wrap text. I'll take a look at yours. Don't worry. It okay. I think what you're doing is you're missing the, if you go to view, you can put, I think you're missing the toolbar. So click on toolbar. Oh, actually you're missing this top here. All right, let me, let me take a look at it after we're done here. Okay, just like measuring the bull, we've got different metrics for each team. Let's take the average of that and see what we get. So that's going to be our next one. So let's do that. So we want to take the average. Everybody remember how to do that? Uh, yeah. We Equals. Oop. So I spilled uh, ginger ale on my computer at one point. <laughs> so now every time I hit equals, it goes because it's sticky. <laughs> okay, hit average. Type it in, or you can do it any way you want. Parentheses. Now here, we're doing it in a row, so let's just select these three cells. Everybody do that? Yeah, yeah. Okay, then we're hitting this parentheses and return. You should have got 19.3. You got 7.3? Yeah, seven, yeah, because yeah, our score average weight. Oh, yeah, you're, you're doing a different one, right? Did you get the wrong... Score weight on yours? Oh, yeah, we got 20.2 on scores average weight. 
Okay, we might have messed up there somewhere. But somebody, somebody's with me, right? <laughs> yeah. Anybody else? Did everybody else get that? Balboa. <laughs> what what'd you get? Are you are you with us? Yeah. Okay. What'd you get? Twenty four point nine five. Twenty four point nine five. Okay, that is wrong. Let me see. Okay. I'll take a look at it here in a minute. Let's do it for the next one. So again, equals. Can we just drag it? No. Well, actually you could, but it's going to look messy. So here's what you can do. You can drag it, but here's what happens. Watch this. You'll get that Devo in there, which is fine. You can leave that there. It's basically trying to take the average of these three, which are empty. See? So to make it look prettier, let's just go, we'll delete this. So you can drag it. So go delete. And then hit on this one with the Devo and hit delete. Can we pay special? Yep. So that's what we're going to do. So select these four. So look at where I'm at. Wisdom of crowd. I selected those four because that represents an entire set. That's our match. Control C. Now fill in everything, all the things that aren't there. I go to paste. Here's our clipboard. I want to get paste special. Formulas. Or you can, sometimes they'll give you that, that icon that looks like an FX. You can put that one in too. Hit OK. What's that? Uh, what is the um, that's the average of all the averages, the median, and the weighted average. I have a theory. I think this the, the wisdom of crowds is going to give us our best results. We'll see. If so, man, I might have I might have stumbled onto something. So. Wait. So this is predicting the scores. Yep. <laughs> would you think they're just regular numbers? <laughs> they were just like, eh, whatever. Okay, so it predicted that it would be 25 and 19? Yep. The, so based on the average of all these numbers, they would predict Green Bay would score 25 mm -hmm. and Detroit would score 19. Mm -hmm. What was the score? Okay, let's put that in. So now I want you to make another column. V, you with me? Okay. So here, let's go, let's go actual score. So it was, what was it, 23? Okay, so Detroit got 23, so put 23 there. And 27. Oh, really? Yeah. Again, Woulda, coulda, shoulda, it's the only thing we're modeling is what the final score is at the end of the game. Trust me. I know it'll drive you nuts. It drives me nuts sometimes too. But you got to take your head out of it and say this was the final score. So what is the difference here? How many points? Four. Four, right? Here, this is about, we're close, five. This one's maybe six, maybe on average. Four, okay. Again, we're close. Look at the averages. This is probably the, mo the closest. Here is how we're going to figure out how close we got. Is we're going we're gonna to need a marker to determine, you know, how well we did. By the way, what time does this class get over? Um, <laughs> 2 10, 2 okay. Gotcha. So here's what we're going to do is we're going to put difference 
predict minus, ob oh wait, observed, I'm sorry. OBS, and then maybe we could say minus PRED, and then we'll go averages. And this one isn't lining up like I want it to. So then again, I can do the format cells. I right click on that, wrap text. Now yours has it? All right, yay! <laughs> You can do all kinds of stuff. I'll show you some really other cool things. You, you can make it go slant, or not slanty, <laughs> 45 degrees, so that you can kind of see it a little better so it's not stacked like that. I'll, I'll show you how to do that eventually. So now you can see it, right? Now, now it's stacked everything. I didn't think I was actually going to learn. Actually you, by, the, by the time you're done with this, remember I used that Karate Kid thing. Man, we're waxing some cars right now. And this is going to be very critical for you to like get all of these skills. And we're all at kind of different areas for this too. Okay, so here we want to determine how close we were to say our predictions for the averages. Our averages said that this would be the score. This was the regular score. So how do we determine how well we did? What do you think? What's the equation we would use? Average. No, not the average. Here's what I would do. And here's, here's how I'm going to do this. So this is what we know. This is what we predicted. Take what you know minus what you predicted, and then that'll be how far off you were. Does that make sense? So let's do that. So equals. So remember, we're in J3. Everybody's with me, right? Yeah. Okay. Hit equals. We want the actual score for the game. Oh, wait. Uh, so hit this one. Now we're going to go minus. We want to take our prediction. So I'm going to hit control and click on this first one. Okay, don't hit anything else or it's going to add the, those those files or those cells to your equation. Hit return. So how far were we off? 2.73 uh, points. I know, isn't it? It's going to be crazy. So that's what we're going to do is we're going to determine, you know, some of these. Uh, so here's what we're going to do. So let's set that up first. Are you going to teach us how to do this like on our own, like in the future? God, I hope so. <laughs> I can't do this for you. Well, that's what I'm doing right now, right, is I'm teaching you how to do this. If you, if you are having problems with it, go to the Google Plus page and watch the video again. Watch the class again. It's like in the future. Like, we want to do this for next season. Oh, yeah, totally. Yeah. Okay. And you'll have my email. You can always email me. Okay, so let's do it for the next one. So this is going to be equals, um, so here was our actual score, minus what we predicted. So hit control, and then we're hitting this square. So I5 minus E5. I just click on the cells because I find it easier, but you can type that in as well. Now hit return. So we were only off two points on that one. I I five minus E five. Remember to do the equals first. If you don't put the equals, it's just going to put in I five minus C five, and then there you won't have any values. Every time I try to put it in manually, it does it wrong. 
Um, okay, well then, don't do it manually. <laughs> Let me, I'll take a look here in a little bit. So try just selecting those and see what happens. You might not have put the equals in first. All right. Is everybody with me? Yes, sir. Excellent. Well, let's, take a, let's talk about these two numbers right here. Right? So we predicted, based on their averages, they normally score, Detroit normally scores 20, Green Bay normally scores 25. Right? Yes. What, what did these two offenses do? Did they do better or worse than expected? How about Detroit? Let's talk about Detroit. Better. Right? They, they scored almost three more points than they normally do. Everybody see that? So they overproduced. Let's look at, so if they overproduced, now let's look at Green Bay. What do they, what were they normally supposed to? Uh, 24. 20, yeah, about 25. They scored 27. So they overproduced as well, right? If both offenses overproduced, what happened to the both defenses? They on their part. Well, yeah, they, they basically underperformed by three. Basically, this score here. Which defense probably did a little better? Green Bay. Green Bay, yes. That they held, well, wait, yes. No, wait. Detroit. Detroit's defense did worse because Green Bay. Oh wait. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Green Bay's defense did better. Green Bay. Wait. Detroit's defense did better. Their average was Right. Actually, Green Bay's defense did better. No wait. Detroit's. Detroit's <laughs> better. Detroit's defense did better because they held them to lower points than the, what they were expected. Right? Green Bay only overproduced by two. Detroit overproduced by 2.73. So I would say the Detroit defense did a little better based on their entire season. Does everybody see that? Yeah. And it's hard to think in those terms, right? You know, you know, all this sports is always given to you as the winner, the loser, but there's all these little nuances, right? Even though if a team wins, they might not necessarily have done as well because – you know, maybe they didn't, you know, there's an average what they were supposed to do. A losing team can do much better than they were supposed to do. Does, it, does like that the, make uh, sense? Like the Cleveland game against Broncos. <laughs> yeah. Like was lost. Right. They, I would say, even though Cleveland lost that game, they, they, their offense did much better than they were supposed to. Totally. Okay. So basically now what we're going to do is we're going to do this for the rest of the so here, this is going to be the same. So here, what I want you to do is I want you to paste this function that we just did here for the rest of this. So remember, select the four cells. Go down here. All the way to the end and paste special, just formulas. If you see an FX, that's it. Okay, we don't have anything for this yet. That's why these values are so big. Yeah. Oh, okay. I was wondering. Yeah, don't worry. See, it's trying to take, it's trying to take uh, this number, and it just doesn't exist, so it's just going negative, whatever you, this you, number you is. Value there, will it yep, it will change. So sometime before class on Monday, I want you to fill this out for all the teams. I, we will not do this in class, so if you do not do this, I will get you an Excel spreadsheet so you will be caught up. <laughs> But I want you to fill this out, and then basically we're going to come back and we're going to see how well we did.